Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this uh, beautiful product animation using 3D Studio Max. So we have some plants, we have a tree trunk, and on top we have a product. And we've created some grass using Tai Flow. So I'm actually going to go through the scene. But if you want this whole scene, it is available on my Patreon shop. And you can download it from there. Alright, so here is the scene inside 3D Studio Max and we have some plants, we have a tree trunk, we have some grass that I've created using Typhlet, it's very simple. If I go ahead and show you guys the flow, yeah, so I'm going to go inside Typhlet. I have a very basic setup, so I have a birth, 50,000 particles, position object on a plane, and I've used the grass clump, I believe inside of this so we have that and we have like three colored materials we have some plants and at the back we we have an HDRI image okay so for the lighting I have three lights here and I believe I've also used an HDRI image which uh, is not included in this project so uh, in the original scene I did use it so you can see it in the background I've used it as an environment and it also added this uh, backdrop for the image to show up in the background. Uh, the same image that I've used for the lighting in the environment, I've just applied it to a V-Ray light material. So if I go ahead, hit M, and I'll show you guys the material. So here is the material for the can and the label and everything. And here is the material for the uh, V-Ray light for the backdrop, uh, V-Ray light material, which is here. And I've increased the color to 10. And here is the Typhlo 3 colored grass material and I also have a grass sort of texture which I've used as the floor. So that's basically the scene that you guys are seeing here. And if I go into the render settings, um, it's pretty simple for um, a 1280 by 720 render. So I went into V-Ray, I've used the image sampler type. Uh, and I set it to bucket, minimum sub devs to 2 and maximum to 24 and 0.003 for the noise threshold because the lower the number the less noise you're gonna have but of course it's gonna take more time. I'm using Irden's map as my primary engine very low just a test preview and then I have 80 for the sub divs and interpolation samples to 40 so uh, that has given me this scene right here, which I composited inside of After Effects. I've used the same uh, compositing technique, the depth of field technique that I do on almost all of my renders, which you can find the tutorial in this one. So I will sh I show you guys how to create a beautiful depth of field uh, in post in After Effects and also in this one as well. So I do it almost in all of my tutorials. So you, ca you guys can go ahead and watch that over there. And that is basically the scene. So there is nothing special. Just you can you can you can increase it furthermore. You can duplicate the plans. You can you can cover the whole thing. But I do have like a camera here, and I've animated the camera. So you can replace this product with your own sort of product and render it out and use it in your own projects. So yeah, that was the today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. And as always, I do want to thank people who uh, have subscribed to my Patreon page and to my YouTube channel. Without you guys' support, I wouldn't be able to do this. So keep supporting and keep watching the tutorials. I will see you guys in the next one.